Hello, my name is Lil and I am a bookaholic. <laughs> I think I have a problem when it comes to books. I love books though, and I'm currently reading quite a bit for me. I have a little bit of a gap um, in which I have some time where I'm not as busy that I can read and therefore I'm reading and it's lovely. I read a book in a day the other day and that was brilliant. It was so much fun. Anyway, so that means I need to pick out the book that I want to read next. And I thought what would be fun is if you come with me and we're gonna shop my shelves together. I really fancy classics, so I think that's the line that we're gonna aim for. And I think I'm gonna pick five. Now I am a complete mood reader. So I am gonna say yes to these books. and I'm gonna pop them on a shelf, just sat somewhere here and go, yep, yeah, I'm gonna read those. But if I'm not in the mood for them, I'm not gonna push myself because I won't enjoy the book as much. Um, I haven't tidied my shelf, shelf, haven't tidied my shelves for this video. So what you see is what you get. Um, but yeah, let's, let's do some shopping, shall we? Let's see if I can pick five books for me to read next slash soon. I am currently bookless. I, um, as I said, I read a book in a day that was yesterday and I finished it last night. So I got nothing, I got nothing to read. So I need to pick out my next read, don't I? So let's shop my shelves. Okay, so I'm currently holding the camera. So sorry if it's blurry, right. This is Persephone Shelf of Dreams. Okay. Um, there are some on here that I really want to reread, but I'm not going to, but I do want to read this. This is No Surrender by Constance Maud. This is a book on the women's suffrage movement and I have tried to read this a few times and I have not been successful. So that is gonna be number one. The problem with this book though, right, is, I don't know if I can show you, is it's in um, dialect, I think. And I really struggle with books in dialect. There was a Sayers um, one that I ended up giving it two stars because I just found it so difficult. But I'll see because I've had nothing but good things. Everyone that has read this has loved it and it's on the suffrage movement. So, I mean, this one, which was the suffrage movement, was that five stars or four and a half? It's really high. So yes, number one, done, okay staying out. Okay, moving down. Right, these have just taken over. These are contemporaries, so not for you. Um, I do have classics back there. Uh, ooh, possibly, possibly, possibly. I'm going to save that as a possibly. Um, yeah, I do definitely need to read some fish child. Ooh, yes. Next. Right. <laughs> this is huge okay so this is a massive book if I compare it to look, look at the size difference is huge anyway um put you back so this is the complete short stories of Elizabeth Taylor be mean to do a where to start and favorite of Elizabeth Taylor's books because I have read all of her novels but I have not read her short stories and I feel like I need to read her short stories before I venture into saying which are my favourites. So yes, um, that one. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm literally just gonna stick to this shelf. Well, that's Jane Austen. Um, I think I'm just gonna stick to this sort of shelf here. Okay, so possibly this, but we'll come back. Okay, moving down, oh, getting down. Right, this one. So my fiance bought me this for my, I want to say birthday, it was my birthday, it was for Christmas. Um, yes, and I haven't picked it up yet, but it's very slim and yeah, don't really know what it's about, but it's from the 30s. Look at that cover. Yes, 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 please. Someone told me how to pronounce the surname and I can't remember. So yes, have to go through that. So that's number three. So I need two more, two more. Okay. Um, oh, difficult. Okay, I know what I'm going to get. 
waving things, trying not to knock them over and do things with one hand. Oh. Pretty big. Okay, I'm going for Agnes Bray by Anne Bronte. Tried to read this before, not succeeded. Um, no, I haven't left the thing in there, but yeah. Yeah, want to give that another go, so. Four, right, last one. Okay, I feel like more modern again. Um, see, I really, hmm, I do really fancy Elizabeth von Arnhem, but that's the last one that I own. So, shall I do it, shall I do it, shall I do it, shall I do it? Mm -hmm. Actually, no, I'm going to say this one. So this one, <laughs> my fiancé bought me for my birthday and I haven't read it. I know Sean from Sean the Book Maniac read this and he wasn't the biggest fan, but it's tiny and I want to give it a go. And I want to read all the books that my fiancé kindly bought me for my birthday before my birthday so I can ask for some more. <laughs> So there we have it. Those are the five books that I am going to read. Quickly run through them for you again. No Surrender by Constance Maud. The Complete Elizabeth Taylor Short Stories. This will take me a while. I think I'll just read these every now and then. Um, the Artificial Silk Girl. Agnes Grey. And Olivia by Dorothy Stra Strachey, Strachey. Um, those are the five. I only actually took them <laughs> from literally a few shelves. That's how many books I need to get through and read on my shelves. Um, I could have done like 10, 20 books that I need to read. Perhaps I'll do this again in the future. Um, you'll have to let me know um, if you want me to do that. And uh, yeah, I'll have to uh, let you know how I get on with these books as I go. So if you like this video, please do let me know in the comment section if you want me to do another one. I have a lot of books, a lot of unread books. <laughs> but as I said, my birthday, I would like more books. So I don't feel like I can ask for more books for my birthday unless I've read more books on my shelves. So yes, let's let's whittle through these, shall we? Let's go through these. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching um, and I shall see you soon for my next video. Bye for now.